Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a little different. I have a story time for you. I cannot make this up. God is just wonderful as many of you know. So I had an appointment on today to get my annual mammogram and when I got there, first of all, let me tell you what happened before I even got there. So I'm praying this morning and my appointment was at 9.20. So I'm praying this morning because I had to cancel one that I had just a couple of days ago because I couldn't find a part. So I'm talking to the Lord this morning and I'm saying, God, when I get there, I need you to secure a part for me, pretty much. Lord, I know you're able. This isn't hard, you know, and, um, and I'm going to trust you to do that. So when I was talking to my sister last night, she said that what she does is go across the street and she just walks over. So as I was approaching um, where I needed to go, I said, should I? Holy Spirit said, no, you already prayed. Trust God. I go into the parking lot. Mind you now, they have two parking garages. When I went last week, I mean, um, two days ago, I drove around for about 15 to 20 minutes looking for a park. They have three levels, if I'm not mistaken, in both of them. I was like, I'm done. I'm going to cancel it and reschedule. So today, I did not even have to go into the parking garages. God had one already fixed for me. I said, God, thank you. Thank you that I trusted you. Oh, we have to trust God. Fast forward to the appointment. So, you know, you go in, <clears throat> have to fill out the paperwork, and they have this wonderful setup where you can drink coffee. Y'all know I love coffee. Anyway, if you don't, I love coffee. Hot, cold, I love coffee. So, um, and they have this Keurig machine in there. And so this young lady, I say young, she's 71. She came in, she was making her coffee, and she, you know, was like, is this how you do it? I said, well, ma'am, I do not know. Um, I don't use Keurig. I just use my, you know, coffee pot, heat your, heat your pot up. I mean, I put the water in, put it in your coffee maker and boom, you know, whatever. And so we get through that. We both have coffee and she asked, well, first of all, you know, she started, she complimented me on my hair. I tell y'all, hair is a conversation piece for me. It always has. So anyway, um, so fast forward past that, she asked me, we're sitting down and she asked me, do I live here where we were doing? And you all know I'm from South Carolina. So um, close to the beach and well, about an hour away from the beach. But anyway, um, she told me where she lived and then I told her that I grew up in another small town and she said she pretty much knows that small town y'all it was just like talking to someone that you she knew that we knew the same people and she told me that y'all i'm about to get emotional right now thinking about this she told me um she was talking to me about one of her family members that died and I knew them well. And I said that it was so sad. And she said it really was, but she could not do a thing because at the time that her cousin died, she was in the hospital with COVID and was in the hospital for over a month. She could not walk. She couldn't do anything. She said, but God is so good. And we just started praising God and talking about how wonderful he is. And other people chimed in. Y'all, it was just so good at the hospital while we're waiting to get mammograms. And so when they called her name, when they called her name, she reached to give me a hug. I don't know this lady. But God is just so good. Sometimes we think that we are going somewhere. 
to, you know, because we are who we are. We are always ready to give. You know, I pop up in there. Hey, good morning, everybody. You know, just thinking I'm going to spread some sunshine. And this lady just, I'm just looking at her. And we just connected because she loved God as well. I'm telling you, God has something for us. That just encouraged me, y'all. And I'm crying just like I am right now. I'm crying real tears in there. And you know what? I don't care about tears anymore when I am somewhere and they just start to come. If I just had to share that. That is going to encourage somebody. You can receive as well from people. You don't always have to be the giver. And she reached to hug me. And it was just so sweet. And she said, it's just good talking to you. It's good talking to good people. You know, I know sometimes we want to stay in, you know, in our corners and everything. And I'm just going to get my mammogram. I'm going to read my, my books. I'm going to be in my phone, whatever, whatever. But some people still like to talk, y'all. Some people still like to talk. And... I just told God, thank you from the parking lot until this lady, I don't even know what her name was and she doesn't know what mine is, but I know that she loves God. It just, I am just so, it was a great day. It was a great day. And I just felt like I had to, and I think that this was my, um, this was my, um, what's the word that you're looking for when you've already thought about something? Because I was thinking about doing a st confirmation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I think this was my confirmation because I have so many stories that I often tell about the goodness of God. And I think that this is just confirmation for me to one day a week, and I'm thinking about doing it on Sundays, but I just had to tell this one today on Sundays. And that will be a story time about the goodness of God, whether it comes from little books that I read, like, um, you know, those little, what do you call them? Um, I can't think of the name of them right now, but they have stories in them, scriptures and things like that, y'all. And they are so encouraging. And so I just want to encourage your heart to just be true to who you are. Don't fake anything. You just you you just be who you are. You know, um, we don't know what God has in store for us this day, but we know that He is able to just bring joy. Just bring joy to your hearts, and sometimes you are not even expecting it. I just want to tell God, thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, I pray for whoever is reading this, Lord, that this in some way touch their hearts if it is your will. I honestly feel like somebody needed to hear this. We can learn from each other. We can help each other. We can encourage each other. God, I pray that this will reach someone and that they be encouraged to keep going, keep moving. In Jesus name, amen. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you. And until the next video, you all take care. Bye.